Both you and Dr. Tedros, because of course your officers face each other in Geneva, you both are champions of access to affordable and quality healthcare. And you see this not as a human privilege, but as a basic human right. I'm just going to wonder how that's going to work going forward because COVID-19 is clearly widening the existing social gaps and threatening to topple entire healthcare systems, including in Africa, but not exclusively in that region. You know, if there is perhaps the biggest lesson we are learning from this virus that has hit us so hard is that health is a human right, not a commodity for sale. And countries where healthcare is a public good, publicly provided, and everyone has a right to health and trust the health system and also the social protection, they are responding better, the devastation is less. So the right, to, the right to health, free, publicly provided health care, this is the moment to campaign for it, to ask countries to be humble, as you've said, and recognize the mistake we made, to think that such an important human right can be handed to the market to provide. I mean, you said it there yourself. You said health is not a commodity. It's not a product up on a supermarket shelf that's up for sale and up for grabs. I mean, aside from being the leader of UNAs, just as Winnie Bianima, the person with your own rich experiences, how does it make you feel now when you see the new weapons of our society emerging in the forms of face masks, other PPE, vaccines, intellectual property rights. I mean, how does that make you feel decades into your career after championing human rights and telling people that this is a human right? You know, one thing that's keeping me awake, for example, is that we should get a vaccine and we start seeing people in rich countries vaccinating themselves against this pandemic and we in Africa, in Asia, in the poor countries, are sitting in the back of the queue waiting for the price to come down. And five years on, we are still dying, waiting to afford this. It must come out as a public good with arrangements for equal access to that vaccine. I'm working on that. I've pulled together a team in, at UNAIDS, I've connected it with civil society groups that have fought for pri bringing prices down for antiretrovirals, who push the companies to bring down the price. Health is a right. It's a human right. It's not, it cannot depend on the money in your pocket or the money your government has. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.